Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge where in today's episode hopefully we've sorted out the audio issues and you can hear the music in the game this time and not just the melodious sounds of my voice. <sighs> my morning voice by the way because normally I'm recording these at like six clothes 6 50 a.m right now as i am recording i want can we waste money on clothes you guys know how much i like buying new clothes for my dude all right let's see what can we get oh goodness a zipped jacket oh that's nice oh a down jacket that's even that's gonna be cool Ooh, in red no we already got that the blue down jacket Ooh, that looks that looks pretty good, but I need different pants. We can't be wearing damaged jeans. Wait, they, what they sell here at the snowy place to go with your down jacket is shorts. That makes sense. Skinny jeans? Let's do this. This is a whole new look for us, you guys. Um, ooh, doesn't matter. Sneaks, probably good. Do we have boots? We probably need boots if we're going mm-hmm or do, should we go brown there it is yes okay okay and i think i saw a new knit cap oh that's beautiful i love it but do we have mm, button purple button i don't see why not my goodness the question is does our bag match now and it could Oh, well, that's just, you know, I might be lit. Is it? Is it too much? It does match better. It does match better. Uh, but do we want the red or let's see just for just for argument's sake. I don't know if it goes as well with the hat. Yeah. Yeah. We're going for the blue. There it is. All right. This is our new look. <laughs> Hello, world. We look better. I don't know about that hat, but oh well. Sometimes you just gotta mix it up. They look great on you. $31,000, money well spent. All right, here we go. Clothes are expensive here. All right, now that we look amazing, I think we're going to, oh, hollow clip. Hello, getting a phone call. Ah, Professor Sycamore. Uh, do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face to face. Let's meet in Coralway Town. Yeah, it's just on my way there, so, uh. Cool. See you there. Anyway. As I was saying, Professor. Moving on to the next town. Hi, Builder people. Thank you for letting me through. Boy, this view is really close up. It makes me very uncertain. Like, I'm about to run into someone I can't see. What about you? Roads of rock, roads of steel, here we walk, happy we feel. That's how I assume he's saying that. We're on Route 18, new route, which means we can catch a new Pokemon, which means, uh, speaking of which, let's look at our actual team, because I doubt at this point, hopefully this is just it. This is the final team. We absolutely need some levels for Chloeo and Ashworth and Fatterhorn. I can't believe Fatterhorn is underleveled because he has gotten us out of so many jams. The big and new member is, of course, Davin our big legendary Pokemon, the final solution, hopefully, to all of our fighting type woes, which have just been plaguing us for so much of this playthrough. <laughs> Finally, we have an answer. Um, everyone on the team, I think, very happy to see Davin uh, enter. You know, they obviously are all from this region. They get it. They're like, whoa. -ho 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 -ho. Um, that being said, I feel like, uh, for the most part, everyone else still just all, all about the Xerxinator here as, um, uh, she has totally just been taken, taken charge, just crushing everything in her path and everyone, uh, still earned everyone's respect. As is often the case I found with legendary Pokemon, they're not there to, like, show off and, like, be like, whoa, everyone look at me, I'm awesome. They're often very respectful, so... Uh, Davin's still sort of getting the lay of the land. No one, we don't really know Davin very much. He's been a tree for the last thousand years, so we're letting him stretch his legs, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how he adjusts going forward. I'm gonna, I'm thinking it's gonna be good, and that it's just gonna be a nice fit, but we'll see. Anyway, we get to catch a new Pokemon now. Let's see what it's gonna be. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that did not take long. We ran right into something. It's 
A Durant! <clears throat> Alright, well, we have the right Pokemon to fight it. Although we might be too much of the right Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Like, a flamethrower is definitely going to be overkill on this thing. Um, can we headbutt it? I mean, obviously we can. How much will it do? Almost nothing! Iron Head. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like that it did more damage than we did to it. That's not the kind of... Uh, we're gonna stand in the fire horn and go do some, like, just big, nice, chunky, normal-type damage to this Durant here. Boy, Durant. Dig! How dare you? Okay. Well, I'll assume you're faster. Oh, can I bulldoze? Will that hit him? It's not gonna matter. He's definitely gonna go first. And uh, we're gonna body slam him when he comes back up. Dunk. Ow. Thank you for that. And could bump. And it's not very effective. We get the leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really going for the paralysis there. That would have been the, uh, the really nice thing. We didn't get it. I bet a power-up punch would be pretty nice. Uh-huh. This thing has got some surprisingly strong moves. I'm not digging it. Ha! Get it. Dig. <laughs> Crack myself up. Oh, boy. Let's see. I think we can catch him. Right? Ultra Ball! Go! Doink! Oh, you stupid ant. I don't even really want you. It would not be like to, if we, oh my gosh, it's doing so much damage. Uh, we are not losing a Pokemon to a wild Durant. That would be so stupid. This is so annoying, because, like, you can totally just blast this thing. It's like, I don't want to hurt you too much. This is where we're at. Crunch. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're going to switch Fatterhorn out. Oh! Gosh, if we didn't have the freaking leftovers... We would totally just be out. That would just have been it. Here, uh, let's see. Davin, you go stand up against this thing and just take some hits for a hot second, and we're gonna throw Pokeballs at it. This has been way too difficult to catch. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't work out very well for you, did it? No, it didn't. Or how about you go down to last used item? That's what we wanted from the menu. Doink. Durant. Not one of my more favorite Pokemon. Doesn't even evolve. Doink. Gotcha. It's one of those, they were going for like another Seviper versus whatever. What's the other one? Zangoose situations here with Durant and Heatmore. Bug Steel, massively weak to fire. Duong, that's from Peter Duong in the comments. Welcome to the box. All right. Well, give me a hot second here. I think I'm gonna go heal from that stupid fight. All right, let's fight some trainers. With my shorts on, there's no stopping me. Oh God, is that a throwback to the guy in Kanto? Uh, yeah, they put the shorts joke in. That's amazing. Scolipede! Oh, one of my favorite bug types on the other hand. Not like Durant. My goodness. And we have the perfect Pokemon to just... Oh my gosh, though. We... <laughs> we should probably do some grinding, maybe it looks like. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, the flamethrower. Kaboom. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Level 48. Bam, nicely done, Chloe. -o. Yeah, there's some grinding for you. Uh, maybe? Hyper Voice, let's see. Um, what does this do? 90? 
Horribly echoing shout with the power to inflict damage. Boy, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good. I wish I could see my stats. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure we are a special attacker rather than a physical attacker. I think we are going to take this instead of headbutt at long last. Because headbutt is only 70. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Getting rid of it. Bye. Hopefully that was the right call. Hyper voice. Very cool. Pinsir. I have no idea what Mold Breaker does. I've even looked it up and I still don't have any idea. It doesn't matter because he's totally just going to get flamethrowered right in his face. Kaboom. And uh, yeah, that's that. Bye, Pinsir. See you later. All right. Nice knowing you. You were the, a bug that was on the screen for a second. Oh, there's a cut? I don't think anyone has cut. Yeah, no, not since we got... Oh, ha, oh, boo. Aren't Pokemon moves just the coolest? I really wish I could use them. All right, whatever you say. Battle girl Justine Minshaw. Mm -hmm. Yes, Minshaw, indeed. Uh, oh, hello. I think I know exactly who we're going to have fight this Minshaw. And that is going to be one of the mighty... Uh, let's see you in battle, Davin. Let's go. Yes, by the way, I think it's hilarious. You guys were all commenting that we have um, <laughs> two other Pokemon on the team with the uh, letter X starting <laughs> the uh, starting their names, Xylia and Xerxen. Xerxen even has two X's and that I did not use that uh, <laughs> for. <laughs> uh, the X, the Pokemon X mascot Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Uh-huh. All right. Well, you're just going to get moon blasted when you come down. And if you paralyze us, I'm going to be so mad. Yeah, that's what I thought. Moon blast. Good dead. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it. That's the power of our legendary Pokemon, Damon Guda 51. Maybe I should have named him Zaven. Night Slash. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Do we need Night Slash? We're gonna probably, I'm just gonna get rid of gravity because I can tell you right now, I am just not going to use it. So yes, let's learn Night Slash. Let's get rid of gravity. Yay, we won. Battle girl Justine is defeated. Oh my God. Nah, 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 nah. Also, also, because I feel like we took way too much damage, we're going to... We're almost out of our Moo Moo Milks! What took like 70 damage in that fight? My gosh. All right, um, do I get to fight you? I feel like you're going to have the type of Pokemon that are weak to one uh, Miss Xylia here, so we're gonna switch that up. And, hi, when it comes to climbing, you can ascend or descend. Which do you prefer? Ascending, for sure. Excuse me. Down climbing, weirdly hard. Weirdly hard sometimes. Especially because often you're tired from going up. Um, what is Stunfisk? Ground water? I don't know. Um, I feel like he's going to be immune to Thunderbolt. Uh, if we, let's see what happens if we surf him. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, Thunderbolt. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. Well, we're going to knock him out anyway. But that was a little too close for comfort there. Stunfisk. Fisk. Stunfisk. Stunfisk. Yeah, level 51. What up? Heiko Orestes. Looks like my battling luck is going downhill. I'll say. I'll tell you what else. We are definitely going to heal up Xylia because that was silly. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We definitely are going to have to get Excel Gore, uh, Mr. Ashworth, there a couple of levels here at some point as well. Because we are getting dangerously close to what's over here. 
What's over here? Oh, 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 item, okay. Can I go in this cave? Is that a thing? Do we go in? Should we go in? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Terminus, this is a new area too. Um, ooh, ooh, thing. What is it? Brick break. Well, that's a pretty freaking good move. My goodness. I accept. I accept. Oh, okay. So this actually, this is a horde fight. Um. Oh, it's endurance again. Okay, so these actually don't count towards our um, catching towards Pokemon we can catch. I, I wonder if we can knock them all out at once. Let's see. I kind of think so. Yeah! So we still have a catch available to Terminus Cave. That was 2,000 experience points. That was pretty awesome, actually. Don't mind running into those guys right there. Especially if you can just surf them all dead. I like it when we can surf. Oh, no! No. I don't want to do a sky battle. I don't think we even have anyone who can do a sky battle. Do we? No, I don't think so. Unless for some... I mean, Ashworth sort of floats. So I would absolutely not want to go into a sky battle with Ashworth because he's weak to most flying types. So, uh... Definitely not. We're not going to do that. Um, anyway, I need to go to my workout, so I'm going to pause. And poof! Wardrobe change. New day. Same route. We are going to continue on here. Let's see. Who else can we fight? How is the team looking? Pretty good. All right. All right. Oh, can't go that way. That guy looks like he wants to 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 to, to tussle. Can I smash this? Nope. No luck. So we already caught the Durant on this uh, route here. If we find another spot in the Terminus Cave, we still have a potential catch in there. That's where we're at. Sorry, you probably know this. You just watched this. I'm having to remind myself like a day later. But no, all good. We're we'll figuring we'll figure it out. It's all good. Okay. Hmm. Mm. How do we take down the Grand Bull, yeah? All right, uh, so he could probably just get surfed right in his, uh, right in his giant jowled face. My goodness. Yeah, I believe Grand Bull is like fairy type, right? Part, part fairy? Fairy normal? Oh, uh, mm, maybe. Oh, I'll tell you what he is. He's taking damage to surf. Oh, and he took some Rocky Helmet damage. It, the, the joy I get from forgetting and then remembering that Xylia is the Rocky Helmet. <laughs> it's always it, that, that little bit of chip damage. Oh, Den, de Dene. Oh, 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 little electric dude. Uh, who are we gonna switch to? Let's do the Xerxen. Because we have a bulldoze. And because unlike most recent episodes, Xerxen... Oh boy, we avoided the thunder too. Look at that. You, he, she just arrives on the scene and is immediately just like, what is that thunder f over here? Can't see me. Bulldoze. Bye bye, Dedene. Dedene? -den? Dedene. -den. -den I don't know. It's not my favorite Pokemon. Not my favorite Pikachu version they've ever done. Oh, special attack rose. Oh my goodness. No, not that. Uh, but how about Bulldoze? Yeah. See ya. What would be my favorite? Uh, I don't like Emolga that much. I don't like Den... 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 Uh, um, Plusle and Minin are okay. They're... I mean, it's sort of like... It feels like they have to be a double... Like, it'd be weird to just have Plusle or Minin. You know what I mean? What else have they done in that vein? Coraway Town! Did we make it? Oh my goodness, perhaps we were much closer than anticipated. Do do do. Hi. Yes. Do 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 do. Excellent. You look like you have a treat for me. Oh, I was wrong. Apparently you were just like, what if I could be a Pokemon? That would be really great. 
Oh, boy. Uh, actually, I think up here you can talk to a lady and get U-turn right here. Hi, you. I have uh, two of the TM for U-turn. Here, I'll share one with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty solid. So, I guess we could give that to... Uh, oh, look, there's another. A rare candy! What? This was a very excellent train station booth. Thank you for the moves. So, we could probably give U-turn to either Xerxen or Ashworth. Um... Excuse me. That was my plan once upon a time for them to sort of work together to do like the poison, toxic Venno shock stuff. What is Ashworth's current move set summary? Let's see. Yeah, he's got Venno shock. So, oh, he's got U turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, oh, but he doesn't have a way to actually do the poisoning. But I think we might have given up. So, okay, that's the thing. Um, that said, I'm not sure I would give up any of Xerxen's current moves to add in U-Turn. Um, but I think Poison Jab is the only thing presently that could. Right? Uh, yeah, I don't think this can actually do poisoning. It just does damage if they get, if they're already poisoned. So, lest we poison jab and then for some reason find a way to switch to Ashworth and then use Venoshock. The answer is maybe that Ashworth doesn't need Venoshock. Bug Buzz is pretty good. So let's see, we are, what are we over here? Uh, definitely a special attacker. So U-turn isn't even that good for him in terms of uh, damage output because our attack is lower than a special attack. And this doesn't even do as much damage. It's really just about the switch. Um, and really you'd want to switch into him for Venno Shock. So really, I think we might be able to get rid of U-turn and Venno Shock on Ashworth if need be protect that's an interesting one because if we have protect that's good if you have like toxic or something so we could put toxic back on ashworth here because now we have u-turn so we could okay this is a thought okay hear me out hear me out uh we throw toxic back on and in that way, we can use Toxic, throw up a Protect, let them build a turn of Toxic damage, and then hit them with a Venno Shock, and then, you know, basically just alternate between Venno Shock and Protect. Um, <clears throat> and then also have Bug Buzz for the uh, bigger damage. That's prob That's not a bad one. Okay. Um, we might... I might go ahead and do that. I can't think of a good reason not to. Uh, yeah. So, and we can undo it since now we have both TMs anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Bup, 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 bup. Where is Toxic? There it is. Everyone can get Toxic. I don't know why the game thinks everyone just needs Toxic. Booted up a TM. Yes. Do, 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 do. All right, yeah. We're gonna get rid of the U-turn there. Ba-ding! Ta-da! Toxic. Excellent. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam. 80 for special. Is this better than Moonblast? I don't think it is. I, th I mean, if it is, we may as well. Let's see here. Moonblast does 95 and this does 80. So it's basically just uh, not as good. All right. So definitely not going to get that. Yes, give up on that. See ya. Okay, well done. Da 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 da. Brick pro. Oh no. Okay, cool. All right. Is this at long last the actual town we're aiming for, though? Or is there yet another city? Where are we gonna meet the professor here in Coraway Town? Where are you, professor? It doesn't look like it, cause you're just gonna keep on moving. Oh. What's this? There he is. Hi, Professor. 
I have to apologize to you about Lysa, and I'm sorry for the trouble he caused. Yeah, you really misjudged him. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe someday the population of people in Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left, and in the end, why, there won't even be anything left to steal will there. But what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm partially responsible. I agree. What an awesome mentor. What? Huh? Who? Huh? huh? Fight? With the professor? Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Did not know this was coming. Hi. Oh, you have Venusaur. This is fun. Uh, we gotta... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's okay. So I can guess what his other two Pokemon are. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is one of those like, well, water is weak to grass, but ice is good against grass. But what we're going to do is I think go to Chloeo for the switch. Yeah. We're just going to play the old switch game here. Gosh, I wish I'd known. I probably would have just led. I probably would have. Yeah. Okay. All right. Worry seed. You you can't make me worry. Acquired insomnia. Was I mean I can't go to sleep? Did you think I was gonna rest on you? Was that what your concern was, flamethrower? Okay. Oh, so bulky. Yeah, I'm not that worried about your pedal dance, but, uh... Oh, it did way more damage than I would have expected! That's okay. We're still just gonna flamethrower you. You're still gonna die. See you later. All right. Sneaky professor fight with those level 50 fully evolved starters. Jeez, Clovio, 49. What up? Mm-hmm. Xylia again, some nice. I sent out the Blastoise, of course. Expected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to switch back to Xylia because he's probably going to have an incoming water attack and we'll just water absorb it. And then we'll hit him with Thunderbolts. It'll be great. Ready? Break. Yep, water absorb. Yay. And then we will hit him with a Thunderbolt. Iron defense. Won't help you, hombre. Not going to help you because we're hitting you with a special defense. Zippity zap. Oh, yeah. All right. So he really can't hit us with many water attacks now, which is fantastic. Oh, Skull Bash. That's cool. It's going to take a solid turn. Boy, very defensive over there. Paralyze him. Oh, did we get the crit? Yes. Way to go. Xylia. Oh, what a great episode for the big Lapras. Xylia grew to 52. What up? Yes. Excellent. And, of course, the big Zod. Okay, so this one, I think we're just going to stay in on, and we can just surf him down. Right? Because we resist the fire anyway. So we're going to go with the big surf. Flame burst. Uh-huh. That looks so tiny and ineffective. And this looks like a giant wave of water. Oh! I can't believe that wasn't a one-hit kill! Oh, do you think Wing Attack was going to do it? Because it's not. Oh, he got the Rocky Helmet. I would have loved it <laughs> if the Rocky Helmet killed the Charizard. <laughs> that would have been, that would have made my day. That would have been amazing. But it didn't happen. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. What? I didn't win. You really are something. Yeah, well, you're not a very good judge of character, apparently. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure if you've seen I got a new purple hat, so... Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. A treasure of mine is hidden in this town if you'd like to try and find it. Well, I'll be off then. What do you mean a treasure of yours is hidden in this town? Does that mean you just hid it? This place isn't very big. This place isn't very big. I already picked up a rare candy in a U-turn. Uh-huh. Does he want me to waterfall up the thing? I don't know if I can. Why don't you just give me the treasure? First, I'm going to heal. Not that we took much damage, but... Uh, let's just... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, why are we zooming in on Nurse Joy there? Hi. It seems like we're getting a way different camera angle than usual. I don't understand. Cool. Oh, that was weird. Is there more to this town? Can we go this way? Aha! We can! Wunderbar. We go in here. Did you hide your treasure in this house? That's what I want to know. Which Pokemon did you pick as your first partner? Oh, really? Froakie's height is, uh, yes? Oh, hold on, wait, ask me again. No, it isn't. Mm. No, a 15 pound frog? I don't think so. Oh, apparently I was wrong. Man, Axe was heavy. No. But then, yes? 15 pounds? A mystic water. Thanks. Yeah, sometimes Pokemon are bigger than you'd expect. My goodness. Was that the hidden treasure? Maybe it's up here. Are you gonna fight? You look like you're still inside the town limits, hombre. Oh, pfft. I thought I was gonna have to surf on that, but I didn't. All right, I don't want to fight you, but if you... 300 a bottle, okay. Can I buy like 12 or something or? An Orid Berry, oh thanks, dude, that's so not helpful this late in the game, but if you insist. I guess we can waterfall up there, but I don't think we have waterfall yet. So unless we can get that somewhere in the town. Oh, it's what? Uh, kelp. Oh, scald. I love that move. That burns stuff. All right. Well, apparently reading the Pokedex is benefiting us greatly just yet. We found all sorts of fun moves. I guess Xylia could probably learn Scald, but her moveset's pretty solid at this point. Oh, okay. Well, I think that this seems like a good stopping point. We had a surprise super fight with the professor. Uh, next episode, I guess we're going to try and continue on to the next gym badge, wherever that is. The next city over. They're making it way too much stuff to do between gym badges here. Uh... Now that we've saved the world, what could even stop us now that we have the mighty David on our team? <laughs> anyway, I think the next badge is an ice gym anyway. So we're just going to have Chloeo, uh, flamethrower, everything. And it's going to be great. Um, if you know what the secret item in this town is, let me know. Or maybe it was just the rare candy and we already found it before he even told us about it. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until next time, bye!